Aphasia Awareness Month, June. What is aphasia? Aphasia is a language disorder caused by damage in a specific area of the brain that controls language expression and comprehension. Aphasia leaves a person unable to communicate effectively with others. Many people have aphasia as a result of stroke, illness, or trauma. We often take for granted the blessings bestowed upon us. It is said that health is wealth, and yet, it is an aspect of life that often goes unnoticed until it is compromised. The ability to breathe effortlessly, the strength to pursue our passions, and the vitality that allows us to embrace life fully are gifts we often take for granted, speech is one of them. By adopting a mindset of gratitude towards our bodies and prioritizing self-care, we develop a profound appreciation for the preciousness of our physical and mental well-being. Types of aphasia 1. Global aphasia Global aphasia is the most severe type of aphasia. It is caused by injuries to multiple parts of the brain that are responsible for processing language. Patients with global aphasia can only produce a few recognizable words. They can understand very little or no spoken language. However, they may have fully preserved cognitive and intellectual abilities that are not related to language or speech. Global aphasia may be apparent immediately following a stroke or brain trauma. While this type of aphasia can improve as the brain heals, there may be lasting damage. Broca's aphasia Broca's aphasia is also called non-fluent or expressive aphasia. Patients with Broca's aphasia have partial loss of their language ability. They have difficulty speaking fluently and their speech may be limited to a few words at a time. Because they can only get a few words out at a time, their speech is described as halting or effortful. They are usually able to understand speech well and maintain the ability to read but may have limited writing abilities. Mixed Non-Fluent Aphasia Patients with this type of aphasia have limited and effortful speech, similar to patients with Broca's aphasia. However, their comprehension abilities are more limited than patients with Broca's aphasia. They may be able to read and write, but not beyond an elementary school level. Wernick's aphasia Wernick's aphasia is also called fluent aphasia or receptive aphasia. It is referred to as fluent because while these individuals have an impaired ability to comprehend spoken words, they do not have difficulty producing connected speech. However, what they say may not make lot of sense and they'll use nonsense or irrelevant words in their sentences. 
Often, they do not realize that they are using the incorrect words someone with Wernick's aphasia will probably have an impaired ability to read and write and lose much of their language comprehension ability. Anomic aphasia A person who suffers from anomic aphasia is unable to come up with the right words for what they want to talk about. They have a grasp on grammar and speech output, but they simply cannot find the words to discuss what they want to. When they speak, it is often vague and they might seem like they are talking around the thing they can't describe. They also have difficulty finding words when they write. Primary progressive aphasia, PPA. PPA is a neurological syndrome in which someone loses their ability to use language slowly and progressively. While most other forms of aphasia are caused by stroke, PPA is caused by neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease. PPA progresses as the tissue in the language centers of the brain deteriorates over time. Because this form of aphasia is associated with degenerative disorders, PPA is eventually accompanied by other symptoms of dementia or memory loss. <laughs>